First, let me say that I hope that you and your loved ones are safe and healthy. I also want to express how grateful I am for the outpouring of support we have seen from so many of our alumni. Your encouragement and engagement during this unprecedented time in Hanover's history is greatly appreciated. While our current situation is certainly unique, I've been thinking a lot about a parallel in Hanover's recent past. On April 3, 1974, a major tornado ripped through campus, and the college was forced to close and send students home. Many of you remember that day. Alumni who were here have told me about their anxiety and fear, their worry over the academic consequences, and the shock of unexpected separation from friends. Our current students are experiencing very similar emotions. And as the faculty and staff did in 1974, in addition to safeguarding our loved ones and ourselves, we must ensure that our students continue receiving an education worthy of them and of Hanover. The best way to accomplish that goal in the present and for the long term is to continue moving the college forward as much as possible. To that end, I want to share my thoughts on our priorities going forward. All of our priorities are driven by the focus on our students and their success. From recruiting to fundraising to facilities, everything we do is designed to provide a better student experience. For clarity, I've grouped these priorities as essential, other core mission, and planning for the future. So what's considered essential? First, we must ensure our students' academic success during this period of remote instruction. Students will need our compassion, dedication, and creativity. We rightfully pride ourselves in our commitment to students, and this commitment will be needed and tested more than ever. Our faculty are working hard to ensure that rigorous coursework continues, that all of our seniors graduate, and that no student is slowed or derailed from receiving a Hanover degree. Second, we must stay focused on students' overall well-being. Their health, physical and emotional, is paramount, as is their need to focus on the future. Many face uncertainty and considerable stress as their families navigate the situation. The future is in question. For example, we have seniors who, in the course of a few days, went from a hot job market to a very tough economic situation. No matter what, we remain committed to their success. Third, we will continue to ensure the health and welfare of the students remaining on campus by providing support and essential services. The number is small, just a little more than 20, but we have a special obligation to them during this difficult time. In terms of other core mission priorities, we must execute on the following. First, we must continue recruiting the fall class. Despite the changes around us, we must still focus on recruiting future Hanoverians. Economic uncertainty, health concerns, and even how we handle this crisis will become part of the decision-making process of students and parents. Second, we must have a successful Higher Learning Commission reaccreditation. The HLC is our accrediting body that ensures the academic integrity of Hanover College, and our periodic visit is still scheduled for this May. Being accredited is essential to our long-term health and viability. In addition to the extensive preparations we typically make for such a visit, we believe our ability to maintain operations during a crisis will become a new area of interest by the reviewers. We must continue, now more than ever, to raise money for the future of Hanover and our mission. Annual giving accounts for approximately $1 million of our $30 million budget. Despite the current environment, we will continue to raise money and actively communicate to you how we are managing the current situation. Finally, we must focus on sound financial stewardship. This crisis will further separate strong higher education institutions from vulnerable ones. I am grateful to be among the strong, a fact on which our students depend. The third group of activities is what I call planning for the future. While we can understandably be focused on the issues we face right now, I believe in Hanover's future, and we cannot stop preparing for that future right now. First, this includes studying new academic and co-curricular program offerings to ensure that we have the right mix as we prepare to enter our third century. Second, we have been invited to apply for significant support from the Lilly Endowment as part of their Charting the Futures initiative. 
We cannot miss this opportunity for support from the nation's second largest foundation. Third, as soon as Indiana's stay-at-home order is lifted, we will continue work on facility improvement projects. Our undergraduate educational experience will not be online forever, and we need to keep making investments in facilities and infrastructure that will serve students for decades to come. And finally, we will continue developing a new strategic plan that will take us to our bicentennial in 2027. I will be discussing the options to move this forward with the Hanover trustees very soon. This list is not final, exhaustive, or definitive, but it instead reflects where we are now. Like many of us, one thing I've learned over the last few weeks is how quickly things change. We must continue to be prepared to adapt in anticipation of change, but adapt we must when circumstances demand it. Thank you for your continued love and support of Hanover College. Stay well.